So on our road to the Pixel 4 full review, our first stop is gonna be on the new software. So along with having a great camera and beefing that up, then make sure to beef up the software and AI for the Pixel 4 and 4XL. So we wanted to dive into a lot of new features, how well they work and what you should look out for. So we gotta talk face unlocks. It works pretty much like face ID, so it's pretty fast. Now the question, is it actually faster than the latest Face ID? If it is, maybe by like a, a millisecond or two. It's not like leaps and bounds, but for, for Google's first official official real try, it's actually really, really good. So I ain't knocking it. But the issue is works with your eyes closed. So you might think, well, how the hell did that happen? It's measuring your face, not your full face. But because it's using, you know, real sensors, infrared and dot, dot uh, illuminators and different stuff a picture can't fool it but if you're asleep or if you're unconscious or knocked out or somebody runs up behind you in chlorophyll they can still access to your phone so not to get that dire but for those of you out here got a girlfriend and a wife on the side or how you move i ain't judging until they get that resolved you probably don't want to use a face phone but despite all that you do have options there's an option called lockdown Google suggests for you to use, don't show any notifications in your lock screen. So that's an option if you want to use it. For those of you interested, like that's not stopping me from picking up this pixel. You would just go to settings, display, hit advance, tap lock screen display and enable show lockdown option. This is supposed to be an update coming. We're not sure if that's coming, you know, be out before launch. But for now, as the date of recording this, that's what it is. So yes, the new Google Assistant is as fast as advertised. You may not have to do this, but I had to do this. You may have to retrain Google Assistant to hear your voice for some reason, because sometimes it would hear me, it wouldn't hear me. But after I did that, it was working as advertised. You use it to do different things, uh, open up apps, send messages. We got examples of what that looks like. You can check it out right here. Okay, Google, open YouTube. Okay, Google, open Google Voice. Hey Google, open Spotify. Hey Google, open Facebook. Okay Google, open Twitter. Take a selfie. Okay Google. Go to YouTube. Opening YouTube. Noting that the new Google Assistant requires motion sense to be on, because I guess it works in tandem or the technology works in tandem. If you have a, a G Suite email account as your sole like Google account for to log in and everything, it's not gonna work for it yet. So you have to wait because it's coming, but it's just not available yet. So last but not least, we have the new motion sense. So inside the top bezel, which was once called Project Soli, now a motion sense radar chip. So what that does is allows you to use gestures to interact with your phone. At launch, it's only a few things you can do with it. It's not a whole lot, but it works. So right now, the only thing you can really do with it is ways to skip songs, silence, phone calls or alarms, they just wave at your phone. Same thing, skipping songs. So right now, that's kind of all you can really, really do with it. It works, I'm not knocking it, it works, but it's super limited at the time. Right now, that's motion sense in a nutshell. So those are the three big beats that we wanted to touch on. Face unlock, the new Google Assistant, and motion sense. We still got to touch on the camera, and then there's still a few other features, and then the rest of the phone that we'll dive into our full review, which would be due out later this week. So if you have any other questions that we forgot to mention, we can still make sure to make a video to tackle them. Sound off in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you for doing so. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. And see you next video. Peace.